Case Study 1. Case Study 1 includes a 44-year-old female who is being transferred out of a, a local facility to a uh, definitive care facility uh, for trauma level services unavailable. The 44-year-old female, ideal body weight of uh, 50 kilograms, uh, the history of present illness includes uh, injection from a motor vehicle at a high rate of speed of approximately 65 miles per hour, uh, two hours prior to being called, or prior to uh, your service being called. Uh, patient presented to the emergency uh, services uh, unresponsive and apneic. Uh, bag valve, valve mask ventilations um, occurring. At the time a um, rapid sequence intubation was performed, patient is currently intubated with a, a 7.5 ET tube, 20 centimeters um, at the lip. You have good lungs, uh, sounds, a good chest rise and fall. Vital signs are unremarkable. Uh, when you go ahead and look at the ventilator, you notice the following. Uh, uh, FiO2 of 40%, a PEEP of 5, respiratory rate of 15, tidal volume of 400, peak pressure is 20, um, with a uh, respiratory rate of 15 in assist control ventilations, you notice a no spontaneous breath at this time, and uh, you can see the following graphics. I'll take a minute to uh, discuss uh, the findings of the graphics that you see here and uh, see if you uh, note any uh, deficiencies or any problems um, based solely on a graphic analysis. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, familiarization, you have your volume pressure loop, your flow volume loop, have your pressure time waveform, your flow time waveform, and your volume time waveform.